I'm trying to draw a diagram. I'm trying to draw the diagram. There's a plate here, so these are the leads. This will have positive charge density. This will have negative charge density, and we know the field field due to the electric field. How how these plates these plates are moved. And made to move with a constant velocity, be directed along one of its edges, uh, one of its edges, so we can pick up in any direction. So let me take it. I'll, I'll write it U, that small v, capital V. Now he's asking, what is the magnetic field shift between the gap in that gap? Same similarly, how, how we took no that similar approach. What you can develop here. How to bring that potential into the picture? Is asking potential difference no? There's a potential v, so it is maintained at potential. We don't know that sigma, no. How do how do I can bring sigma through potential only? So first we'll get into the <coughs> charge density. How to calculate charge density? Uh, sigma equal to Q by a square. Oh, uh, sigma equal to charge density Q by a square, where a is the area of cross section. Take help of like this. Sigma equal to then q equal to sigma a d so v equal to v do right like this no e into d potential difference let e be the electric field as shown e is what sigma by epsilon not into d no further what is what is sigma you can write it as uh, like a sigma what you can q q you can bring charge q by I mean, I think let's let's stop here only. No. So the sigma is what we know that one. If a plate moves, so you know what is the magnetic field inside. This is what potential. <coughs> so what is the expression for magnetic field inside the between the plates? So this is like a two plates. So this is H P one, P two, P three, P four. You you take like this, and this is that P one, P two. This is P three, this P four. So this should be the out of the plane current. This should be the into the plane because negative charge, negative charge moving means positive charge moving towards left. Shall we approximate? So from where this uh, this one, this about the current because here charge which is present, this charge will be positive charge will be moving like this. Negative charge moving, negative charge moving is opposite to negative charge. We let them hypothetical positive charge moving towards left, and that will set up a current. So that what minus sigma here. So directly now, now what about the field strength? Due to this, the field should be here, uh, and due to it'll be here. So due to this should be in this direction, and due to the lower plate, it should be in the downward direction. Yeah. 
at, at least I think try to understand this. Look at the arrow, so the magnitude of magnetic field strength should be same. Okay, no. Now what is that B? That is no need to again go back. That is due to moving charge plate. What is B is equal to mu naught sigma u by two should come as it is the magnitude that one. So resultant field how much it should be B net. B net should be equal to Two B, so therefore this should be field due to individual plate sigma u by two, so which is equal to mu naught sigma u. Ah, you you are standing here, you are standing here. Yeah, either you move plate, see you can move plate a along any direction here. So I think that I think it doesn't make the problem. Uh, where, where is I'm moving the plates along x axis in the capacitor? You can move along y axis also. I think the overall situation will be the same. That one, if you move it proportionally, you have to change proportionally the direction of b bar. I'll, I'll give in the end the direction of b bar. This is the b net. What should be the direction of b net according to this? So we have. P1, P2, no? I think I'll change the P1. We'll give direction of B bar also. It'll be much easier. What should be the direction of B net, no? Negative, negative Z axis. Clear? Negative Z axis. So this is what net feed. We don't know sigma, no? Sigma is what we assume. Sigma I'll replace from here. So this should be equal to mu naught sigma will be v epsilon naught u by d so mu naught epsilon naught u potential v is a potential <coughs> if you if you want potential write v naught or any other symbol and substitute so this will be the magnetic field directed along negative z axis So any capacitor, moving capacitor is there, no? The effect of this magnetic field should also be taken. You you go back again. We, we, there can be some problems are there where the capacitor is moved. The capacitor is moved, what happened? Again, you have to bring the magnetic field into the picture. Things are a little bit very complicated practically when you go it. It's not that easier. So when you go for work done, no? The magnetic field energy also will come. Electrostatic field energy will come. So you, you have to interlink on. So in exams, you have to be very careful. What we are studying is individually capacitor, individually magnetism. You can in, introduce both here. If the plates are brought to rest, of course, magnetic field will vanish. So as long as the plates are moving, the magnetic field will exist here. <coughs> Okay, plates now, uh, plates moved in different directions. Try to think, I just took some cases, no? If the plates are moved with a different velocities in different direction, then the resultant field at a point, even there can be a question like this, no? So this plate, if I move like this, this is the thing, uh, and, and this particular plate, I'll move like this, or, or let's take example like this here. 
then the field at a certain point they'll ask you because it will produce field everywhere here this will, of course there are large sheets huh? just hypothetical i'm showing small that one so individually calculate due to this field take superposition any application problems can be asked huh? you have to be careful okay now after this we will first take the rotating charge particle And this very good question can be asked in advance. Huh? I felt really very good. 